Welcome back to another Star Stable video. Today we have a complete checklist. Well, hopefully it's complete. I, it's a, it's a lot, it's a lot. So don't worry, we have a lot of checklists of things you need to do today before the Halloween update leaves for until 2023, which is going to be a full year. So again, there's quite a lot just in case you missed some of the Halloween stuff, but let's just get right into it then. Let's go. Gotta get my little list. List. Okay, so first thing on the list is get the blue pumpkin pet or free pets. Free pets, the white raven, I think, is one that you could get. The kind of like dark blue black raven is also one you could get. Those are two free raven pets on the trail ride. I do have a tutorial out if you need help with those. And also the blue pumpkin pet is going to be gone for a full year and we're not even sure if it will return. So I think the ravens will be returning though because they kept the trail ride last year. So they're probably going to keep it this year as well, but definitely get all the free pets you want since they are not going to be returning. And I think both of the ravens are actually buyable with star coins in game. So if you don't want to do the work for the trail ride, you could get them that way as well. But sadly the pumpkin pet is 100% up to chance. There is a recipe though to follow to get it at a higher chance. So let me know if you want that. But anyways, guys, this is the first item on the list. Get all the pets you want. Next, redeem all codes. I'm not sure if these are still redeemable, but I do have a Halloween code and a video out if you do want to check that out. And you get free items with really good stats and also free Star Rider in case you need it on your alternate accounts. Also redeem them on alternate accounts in case you need that or get like the collectibles on your alternate accounts as well for example like the blue pumpkin you could get on alternate accounts you could get all autumn tokens you could quest again you know just do all that stuff next is to shop for any items you want might want limited items or anything like that so yeah it's pretty straightforward the items are going to be limited for a year since they won't be returning until 2023 so if you see an accessory that you kind of want i would definitely get it since today 100% cutoff day before Gallopers Keep will be returning. Spend soul shards. You will not need them throughout the year. Soul shards are only used in Gallopers Keep and I have had room heard rumors that soul shards will not be returning next year, but I think Star Stable said they will. So I'm not too sure on what's going on there, but um spend your soul shards. You could use them at the cauldron if you haven't already. The portals have all open, so you can't really use them there unless you want to. Um you could sell them you know but I, I would suggest putting them in the cauldron just as a chance to get all the items or collect if you already have the blue pumpkin collect the items that you don't already have from the cauldron since they are free so why not this brings us right into our next point the free cauldron items these are going to be leaving and there is actually a full set with the free cauldron items that you could get this is separate from the blue pumpkin although you could still get the blue pumpkin from the cauldron items but there is like you could get as many any items as you want you could stock up on these items so you could sell them for your Vic shillings for the next winter update which is going to be very very soon stay tuned for spoilers on that on my channel but yes you could get as many cauldron items spend all your soul shards there do anything you want get get double of items why not bestie you could sell them for your Vic shillings so that when another event comes around you have that ability to buy the items with your Vic shillings because why not it's, it's free and if you have extra ingredients you could go around and just use them in the cauldron because they're going to be unusable for one year unless of course you want to save up and you know that you'll be playing next year but if you're not sure I would definitely go ahead and use them now so then you could enjoy the winter Christmas update to its full extent with free items you know why not bestie why not Next, spend autumn tokens. Now, autumn tokens will give you items and you can also save these up if you have like extra autumn tokens and you already bought everything. You could definitely buy a duplicate of an item and then sell it for the winter Christmas update, but autumn tokens are going to be becoming unusable until 2023. So I would definitely stash those away if you want to reuse them. Or if you don't, I would suggest buying duplicates of the items or like buy the items 
items you don't already have but if if you you just just buy duplicates if there's nothing you want from the shop because then you can like go back to it in a page in your inventory and be like oh i need your vic shillings your vic shillings listed there for you bestie all right very nice very nice your vic shillings galore the limited horses will be leaving this means the two brand new horses and these types of magical horses the winter magical and the halloween magical and even the equestrian festival magical they are not coming back until a year because they are special event related i say special event like for example burker and hanami those magical horses they're in rotation you know like you'll get them maybe popping up once or twice throughout the year but these we know when they're returning and they will not be returning for one full year so 365 days bestie well actually a little bit less because it starts a few weeks before you know but uh yeah so i would definitely get any magic horses that you want if you want but pay pay attention if you want a if you feel like you'll want the winter horses more i would definitely save up for those since i don't know it's just like you wait and it feels like i don't know i don't know but if you want the winter horses more keep that in mind because the winter horses will be released very soon but the halloween horses are currently still in game for one final day so do all the shopping you want next is to spend your trail ride items now i'm not sure i didn't do the trail ride that much this year so i'm not sure what you could spend them on but i would suggest spending all of your trail ride items because i know there's a chance to get a ton of different items from that and it can just be kind of overwhelming to have that all in your inventory and you could also collect trail ride items to sell again bestie why not collect those items collect them all like pokemon but yes do that okay mm, okay next and finally i say do the limited races while they're still in game this gives a lot of extra this will give you a lot of extra experience don't mind roxy my mom just came home so she's like barking at her car in the driveway but this will give you a lot of extra experience on horses or anything like that because why not we love the extra experience so yes bestie this is your official last day to participate in the halloween event slash gallopers keep checklist of course go through all the quests if you haven't already since they do give a good amount of player experience uh, do they get player experience I feel like they took that away, but they do give some pretty cool items as well, and it's just fun to play through. You could even just spam play through it if you just want the items like, lig, 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 I don't care about the backstory and stuff, you know? Why not? This helped, and let me know anything I left out in the comments down below. Feel free to read through those, and as always, besties, have a great day, and it's the final day of the Halloween update. Mm -hmm.